Hi guys, welcome back to Learn Golf with Cassie. Today we're at the driving range. We're going to be doing a kind of extension from last week's video, which you can watch over here. Um, it's going to. We're going to be doing the holding the wrist angle drill today. Uh, last week's was the left hip drill. So yeah, let's get into it, and we hope you enjoy the video. Today we're going to be extending the, the the video we did last week. The last week was all about getting the left hip clear enabling the club to be able to swing all the way through without getting stuck and kind of flipping. Now, today is all about getting better compression through the ball. Uh, one of the things we noticed in um, Cassie's competition was that she wasn't getting the same kind of, you know, powerful trajectory and speed as the other girls were because they were holding their hinge and releasing right at the bottom Whereas Cassie was kind of throwing the club a little bit early and delivering too much loft. The ball was, looked good, but it was going like 10, 15 yards shorter than perhaps it should be. So the drill we did last week was just making sure that we splayed the foot out. We just did a little half swing and we just make sure that the club goes around the body and doesn't flip. Now this was it. This is just it. We did it on one foot, and we're pivoting around the left, and they come out really straight. But if we're if we're losing the hinge, the angle of the wrist too early, back here, that's the that's the idea of the throwing thing Cassie had, where it just released too early. We're actually giving away lots of speed. So if I do it here, and I release here, then I'm kind of just scooping it up. Okay, so this is slow-mo, so you can just about see the release. It's still very quick, but down here, the release is there. So the club is released already, and I'm kind of just scooping it up. Now, Cassie can tell you, that was dead straight, because I've got the movement right. Went about 110 with Cassie's seven iron, but what we want to do is keep that angle a little bit longer and then release at the ball. So the angle and here together, rather than back here, and then kind of like flipping it through, we're coming right over the ball and the club is releasing with the angle just here. And we'll find it comes out at a lower trajectory and we get that extra speed from the ball. So this is what we're trying to do. We're gonna feel, this is kind of like a pump drill. We're gonna feel this dropping to here. The club head is gonna be outside the hands as we do this pump drill, and then we release. And that, the ball comes, fires off the club face. I'm not swinging hard, but the, the energy that's stored in my wrist drops on the ball. I don't want you to hold the lag like this. It's just coming down to the right thigh and then releasing just at the right moment. If we see from down the line, so if I release too early, you'll see the, the shot. It looks okay, but it's not going very far. So we're doing the pump down to this right thigh and then drop the club in there. At the same time as we do that, we still have to make sure that we're turning to the left. So it looks something like this. Let's get into it. Okay, so Cassie's got seven iron here. Not bad, a little bit right. We didn't turn the corner there. A bit like the one I did earlier. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's a nice looking shot. And it's out there 130. So that's the shot you've been playing. It looks good. But I feel like it can still come off with a little bit more energy without having to do anything specific except for keeping the lag to the bottom. Yeah, so pump it down to your right thigh. 
Okay, but you do need to put, do the rest of the move. That's it. So you got to get, that's it. Go around. So it releases at the bottom. All right. Well, that was a massive difference in strike and distance. Okay. Good. We just want to make sure we don't get too strong with the right hand off the side. So do the pump. Okay, and then hit the ball. Swing wise, everything worked, just didn't quite get the contact. Still went 130, dead straight, wasn't it? Yeah, that's a really good shot. Just pump and hold it down to the thigh and then feel, feel that club drop, that's it. But no throw, it's got to be turning the corner. All right, that's actually very nice. Didn't quite strike it, but uh, 110. 110, the, the actual move is good. Just one thing to keep an eye on when you're doing the pumping. When you're pumping, don't end up pumping ahead of you. It should be down to here. You see the club head is a little bit in front of the hands now. Now I can turn the corner. If I pump the hands out here, then I'm going to have to do something like flipping. So we've been trying to make sure we don't flip. So when you're doing this pumping, just make sure it's not out here. It, it's basically dropping under the shoulder. And then the, club, the, the actual club is going to be doing this as you come down. And it's out there. Now you can go straight round your angle rather than where you're going to go or you're going to get caught here so we still need to make sure that we turn the corner we're going to feel like the hands are down here not there that's something that lots of people will make a mistake with this drill and it'll get them into even more trouble so it comes out really nice and solid and compressed and that's what we want wrist angle down to the and then release the last second as you turn the corner oh that was it wow. that was it that was 140 and you didn't try to swing hard at all that was perfect all right nice shot Okay, just make sure that, that as you do the pump, your shoulders are not turning yet. Drop them. That's it. And now go. There it is. You can't let the shoulders turn when you're pumping it down. You're dropping that. Sounded good. I couldn't see it. As you do the dropping the hands, this is a video we did a few weeks ago where the hands drop and then you go. The important thing is when you do that pump, that you don't move the shoulders it's not shoulders pumping which is throwing everything out it's dropping the hands essentially it's dropping the hands we're calling it the pump and then everything together and you can turn the corner if you do this it's gone out and you're going to go to the left so it's essentially the video we did a few weeks ago oh that is gorgeous I like it. Nice swing. Didn't quite get the compression through the ball there, but um, very solid. Okay, so we're just dra going back to a half swing. Just making sure we don't release the the angle until a little bit. That's it. I think. And now Cassie's hitting straight bullets up there, the same distance as when she was trying to do a full swing. Interesting, isn't it? Oh yeah. That's seven and a half swing, 120, dead straight. Oh, that is beautiful. Thanks for watching this video, guys. We hope you enjoyed it. I hit some really nice shots there with my seven iron, like 
really little effort needed and just really nice same distance and it just proves that if you hit the um shorter swing shot you can still go the same distance as you actually do because when you compress it it goes it's a lot more consistent and the trajectory and everything's just more just better so thanks for watching this video guys we hope you enjoyed it um leave a comment let us know how it goes so thanks we'll see you guys next time bye